do you think there's a danger we're entering an era in which the political class turns against well, democracy course, itself? Of course, the post-democratic age. I mean, a magnificent phrase that I heard Peter Mandelson uttering about 20 years ago. And let's be honest, you know, the great battle that is going on here, America, across Europe, uh, and is being debated all over the free world, the great debate is what is the way forward in terms of how we govern? Is it the globalist approach, which is big, supranational structures, which in the main are run by people who can't be voted in and therefore can't be voted out? Or is it the nation state or nationalism, if you want to use that word? That is the big debate that is going on everywhere. And if you really think about it and go right back to the 1950s, the origins of the European Union, which is, I would argue, the epicenter of the globalist dream, it's why the Hillary Clintons and others are completely in love with it, the origins of it, if you, if you read Monet back in the 1950s, he makes the argument that democracy is a very inconvenient way of running a country because, you know, the ship of state goes in that direction for four years and then it might go in a different direction for four years. So better, he thought, with no sense of irony given the Soviets and their five-year plans that they put it under Stalin, um, better, he thought, to make sure that the people who really control how our lives are led are the intellectual elites, who, of course, know oh so much better than we do.